Let's present my screen. Pasensya if dito ka 5 minute break ha. Thursday na lang ta. Kagadali ko rin. Okay. So, we will continue where we left off last time. No, sa tour guiding. So, na, discuss na ito na ang introduction to tour guiding. Ngayon siya, Maso's Archive Needs, no? Very important. Okay, na ito sa types of tour guide. Okay, so last time, no, nag-discuss mo sa different types of tour guide. We will continue na pod ka ron. No, so... Um, last time, na natukot ang on-site guide, docent, city guide, and driver guide. So, we also have personal or private guides, no? So, meaning their service is on and on, on and off call basis. On and on call, sorry, on and on call basis. No? So, on call niya si personal or private guide. This is, this is not affiliated with, or this person is not affiliated with the tour and travel agency. May kita o ka ng on call siya class. Like, for example, no? Ka ng na abi mga group of tourists diri sa San Carlos City. Yung city tourism officer, na siya yung kailang nga on-call guide, nga which is accredited by DOT. No? So, yung hire ng tawagan niya. Kani siya, di niya full-time job. Okay, on-call man siya. No? Di niya full-time job as a tour guide. Pero niya hobby or marag ko ano niya, no? Kanang sideline niya. So, a private guide is someone that you can call. For example, kana mangita ka o someone who is an expert in the destination and yet, pwede ni mo siya madadala sa mga private tours, no? So, for example, mga family or kamo mga grupo. So, makikoordinate na ka sa city tourism office, no? Na sila yung mga kailan dira nga accredited na should nga tour guides, and then, they will assign one for you. So, this is not affiliated with the tour and travel agency. Kaya na may uban nga mga group tours class. No, even, dili lang group tours, mga place tour guide, ha? Naiuban nga. For example, like, mga to silang halimun, no? Nya, couple sila. Very common kayo na siya class nga. Especially sa abroad, no? Nga, kanang kon sila no more sila on playing it safe no the deal is lagi nahan mo explore on their own no kay malok sila masaag especially foreigners no ah uh, dili applicable foreigners diri ha like for example kita magto pa da dito no and if we have the means you know, we can ask help for a local guide or a private guide so we have someone that who can um tour us around no and it's on call no so, next is specialized guide. This refers to a guide whose expertise or skills are highly unique. So, this is more like an elevated kind of tour guide. Now, we're in. The level of expertise niya, mag veteran siya kayo ba, no? Not only that he knows the history of the place, very deep na yung understanding of the at, of the destination. And he can only, he can also include like, like policies, no? Or even mga updates sa nga attraction, very concrete siya, no? Kana depth kayo yung understanding sa um, kani nga destination. That's a specialized guide. We have the step on guide. This relates to a guide who gets on the bus and uh, at the destination to do commentary about the site. So, kana yung mukoy ni mo sa bus, no? Say, say mara man itong usapod nga guide nga. Mukoy sa ni mo sa bus, no? Well, ga tour. Nga siya yung microphone, no? mo discuss siya, o mo ni siya, at your right, you have the Kaan Museum, to your left, o you have the plaza, o may ana, no, and then, sorry siya, no, so while you're traveling, commentary na siya, no, so, ang naka-difference na ni Specialized Guide and ni Step on Guide, si Specialized Guide is, even if, maski yung sa mga questions, no, yung mga ipangutanan niya, that is related, of course, to the site, he can really answer it, because, yung ana naka- kataas ang iyong experience in tour guiding and yung anak ka nakalaw mo no, ang iyong knowledge about the attraction. A step on guide usually yes, expert ng Japan sa attraction pero dili yung anak should ka grabe if you compare it to the specialized guide. Next, you have the local guide. So, the local guide refers to a person is competent enough to give information a particular area or, lo or locality. So, some local guides are not accredited by the OT class. These are just residents or locals in the area, no? Like for example, oh, taga kuan ko, taga mo, the taga Mount kuan abi ko, Mount Arayat ko, or I live, I live near 
Kanlaon, no? for example, Mount Kanlaon, or I live near Taal, no? And then, although I'm not accredited by the OT, but I know um, how to get there. I know my way around the place because, of course, I've been here for many years, no? I've been taking tourists um, on tours, no? So, mo na siya si local guide. Kalabanan, mga residents, no? Mga locals na po na nga lugar. Next is the specialist guide. The specialist guide refers to the one who specializes in some areas such as arts, architecture, churches, flora, and fauna. So, like specialized specialist guide, the specialist guide. For example, I'm an expert on um, heritage ng mga attractions here in Iloilo. For example, something like that. Or I'm I am an expert on on architecture, you no, know, and churches. So. Every time that we tour, no, there is a Negros Occidental. Sa tanong churches, there is a Negros Occidental. I can tell you more about their, its architecture, no, Barok Banisha, no, or and I can also tell you more about the history of the church because that is my specialty. No? Or for example, um, my specialty are the arts, no. So whenever we go to different museums, I can tell you a little more something about this artwork. No, or for example, if you are on a nature tour, no, I'm an expert, I'm a biologist, I'm also a specialist guide, so I can tell you more about the flora and fauna, meaning the plants, no, the flowers, even the animals, no, in their natural habitat. Oh, that's specialist guide. So, kuan siya numara specialist siya adding a specific kind of of area. Next is staff guide. Staff guide refers to the one who is permanently connected with a tour and travel agency and paid per day or a monthly basis. So this is affiliated with the tour and travel agency, the staff guide. So it could be the uh, travel agency and then accredited po siya with DOT. So for example, no, na I'm a request of tour guide, so pwede kayo siya ma tour guide. No? So monthly siya or, or weekly ba siya gina swildoan. Regardless if na I tour or wala. Next, we have the freelance guide. This refers to a person who is not, sorry, who is not perman permanently connected with tour and travel agency and is paid per trip basis only. So, mara po siya on call, no? So, paid siya per trip. Mo na si freelance. Tawag na kayo, maka doon, maka always. Saan ang mga freelance, ma'am? So, kanang, kaan na siya? Para po siya sa on call, no? Bayaran na po na siya kung na ay tour. Kung wala, wala po siya bayad. Next is indigenous guide. So, where po siya og local guide, no? So, this guide is usually a member of a tribe. But the difference with the indigenous and the local guide class, the indigenous guide is a member of an ethnic tribe. Kung yung wala si local guide, o, oh, residente siya dira. Pero some of them are, uh, there's a possibility, no? Some of them are not members of an ethnic tribe. Especially if you go to the mountain regions, no? Um, the other pools may Benguet, no? Sa Baguio, no? Magtuka dira class sa pala na may mga ethnic groups na like mga Ifugao no, or magtuka sa Mindanao Baron like mga Tibuli and all. So, kuha na class, no? Um, membro siya sa tribe and then he can also share, no? Ang ilahang mga customs, ilang traditions, ilang rituals, even the stories in their tribe. Now, for those tourists no, who would like to connect no, with the community, no, who would like to know their culture, no, so kani siya, expert siya kay, of course, member siya mismo ana nga tribe, and marag, mo share siya ba nga, o mo ni, basta na ay mga harvest, or na ay kasal, or na ay, like for example, no, um, occasions, and etc. Mo ni mo ang mga rituals, no? Yeah, mo ni mo ang koan, mo ni, um, ang among, sani ka nang naandan no nga mo paint mi ani sa mong faces no this symbolizes nga uh, we are ready for war or kuan rag war paint mo shower na so something like that no things that can explain that are those who belong to that tribe no kay of course class ko mukha mong gud taog ka nang outsider nga mo tour guide no mo tour guide siya sa kaning ethnic tribe or any ethnic group dili siya ma convey tanan no ma explain tanan ang details about their culture because wala man he, she or, he, or that guide is not a part of that culture no iguro siya nag-study about nila pero mas mayo siya no kung nadyo ka indigenous guide because siya mismo no start from bata pa siya hang to dako siya muna siya na ang iyahang naandan because they, he belongs to that tribe 
Next, a naturalist guide. Um, this is quite common for those who would like to go on a hike. No, kung maghike ka na ay mo kuyog ni mo pwede ka masaag. No, and then who will also teach you um, mga natural skills lang. No, so this refers to an expert on natural attractions such as caves, no, lakes, rivers, mountains, and seascapes. Dili na siya sa yun class nga. We can just take anyone. No nga, ay tour guide man siya sa kaning agency kung ano tungo on para mo guide ato sa cave. No, you would need an actual naturalist. To guide you because lahi man ang situation sa city ng tour compare sa sa natural attractions no there are caves that are perilous no yung very kuan kasi la kanang kuya kasi la sulo no yung kung kung wala kay kana expert jud nga guide who knows his way around the cave then na tendency nga makuan ka no mawala ka no or matagak bakaro no or ma injured ka sa trip on lakes mountains seascapes and etc. Next, the cruise ship guide. The cruise ship guide refers to a cruise ship personnel in charge of guiding onboard guests to tour various department of the vessel. So, this person is actually in charge of um, taking all of the guests in the cruise ship on a tour because the kubya kaya na ang cruise ship class no. If you could remember transportation um, management tato nga subject, the kubya kaya ang mga cruise ships no and Literally, daghan ka yun no pila ka thousands of guests ang pwede na tama accommodate because of how big the cruise ship is. So you need to have an actual guide on the cruise ship no para at least wait for mga guests nga. Para sila masagab bang order yung malukit ang mo ang bar, ang mo accommodations, dere ang theater, dere ang recreation center, ang may anak. But usually in the cruise ship guide no kuta asking time ang captain. So, the VIP guests, no? so usually the si captain man ang mag tour pod. Okay, you have the transfer guide, can it also be known as the courier. So, usually in charge of the meet and greet of the tourist guests, taking charge of the baggage and luggage to be transferred from point of arrival to send off. So, marasya ka ng chaperone na ba nga? For example, um, siya ang mo ko ano, siya ang mo take charge, like, sabi mo, na si guest. Mga actor siya sa hotel. No, and then she ang in charge sa mga luggage and ba and baggage ni guest before she mo only she ang mo organize ana and then she po ang bahala sa send off no she bahala mangita o kanang rent ng vehicle no para sa kyan sa mga guests ng mo only na and then she po ang bahala mo send off nila that's a transfer guide so dilid siya on actual trip no mer kaya ang mo tabang sa mga guests most especially if some of them Um, do not speak the language, no, dira nga lugar, no, um, for example, no, yung mga Chinese nga tourists dira sa, sa, sa Philippines, no, and then, kung mag-commute na sila, masaag o niya sila, no, hindi po sa kabalo po mo communicate with the taxi driver, so, na yung courier or transfer guide, mag sa hotel, okay, ready na mo mo check out, mag-speak siya o client, labi nga language, and then, siya yung bahala, no, buta niya mga baggage da yun sa sakyanan, na yun siya na bahala po dito, mo assist nila, pag, kana nila no pag uli na nila Okay next is tour escort so tour escort refers to accompanying tourists from the point of origin to the point of destination and return to the point of origin acting as coordinators of the tour activities for a specified number of days stated in the tour package so tour escort mara pud siya og transfer guide no nga siya ang muatang. Mga <laughs> natin siya dito ka ng murag karatulad. Siya yung muatang sa mga group tours. No? Okay, for example, usad siya sila ka group po sa mga Chinese baron or ko ano, um, line line na being a foreigners. No? And then, mumit siya. Yeah, siya ang mo pasakay nila sa katong van. Niya mudala sa mga tourist to the hotel. And then, yan na yung i-endorse sa tour guide baron no parang tour guide na bahala mo um, take charge sa lang tour for the day no mahuma na gayon ang ilang trip for the entire week balik na po si tour escort ito na po siya dito mo check out naman ang mga guests so mark same sa boat transfer guide siya ibala silang bag baggage and then um iyahang ihato dito sa airport no iyahang i-assist sa pag-uli no di siya mo kuyog dito sa kuan ha sa mo assist siya dito sa airport no sa mga tourist So, that's a tour escort. Siya ay mo hatod, siya po ay mo sugat, and then ihatod na po niya sa airport. So, 
musugat siya nila sa airport, ihato dito sa hotel. Mama na ganyan nila ang tour, siya na po yung musugat dito sa hotel, ihato niya sa airport. So, mara na, ang trabaho ni tour escort. Next is outbound guide. So, this refers to accompanying tourists from the point of origin to the point of destination. Vice versa, acting as manager of the tour activities for the specified number of days sit in a tour package, but the activity is out of the country. So, this is just like a tour escort class, no? But activity is outside. This is outbound na siya, no? So, din sa Philippines, Abel. Like, for example, uh, an example of that is, kato nag-tour ang mga teachers, no, sa Hong Kong. Na as sila ay ginatawag ng outbound guide. Si outbound guide class. So, kuyog din siya. Nagikan din sa Carlos City, ning kuyog siya pa si Bu. Yan yung gihatod ang mga teachers, no? nga motor sa Hong Kong. Kaya ito niya sa Cebu. pag sa Cebu nga airport, nga Mactan nga airport, kuyog po siya ato sa Hong Kong. So, na activity sa ito sa Hong Kong, kuyog po siya. No, until, na ulit sa Philippines, kuyog siya po siya. No? So, siya ang marag chaperone sa mga tourists. No? Pero, kay si Outbound Guide, she has been there in Hong Kong before. So, she knows her way around Hong Kong. So, yan yung kuyog, ano? So, diri pa lang daan sa San Carlos City, Pa Hong Kong, kuyog siya. That's the outbound guide. So, si tour escort is dinira. No? Pasulod din. <laughs> Inbound siya. No? So, pasulod din ang guest. Siya ang mo-assist. Pero si outbound is, gikan din sa point of origin, padulong dito sa destination. Okay, so, proceed to the duties and responsibilities of the tour guide. It's a class, okay. Pause ako for a while, guys. Sakit kayo kong tutunlan. Need to drink water for a while. Pause lang sa ta. Okay, so let's continue. Wait lang. Okay, so let's proceed to the duties and responsibilities of a tour guide. So, of course, no, if you become a tour guide, part of your responsibility is not just to provide information, no, but also to assist your tourists make decisions, no, perform um, at least mga necessary nga mga skills, no, especially if there's an emergency. No? So, one of the duties and responsibilities of the tour guide is to provide the guest information, which is a product of research. We do not conduct our tour if we are not prepared. Most especially class, no? Mabito na ka tong, kung class ka nang, naman yung mga tour guiding competitions, so tagaan na yung mga destinations, especially mga cities or mga municipalities, so kami na bahala, no? Magtoon. Kung sa yung mga attractions, kinangla nun, no, i-discuss, no, once nga, um, mukha na siya, no, mo, perform na siya sa stage. But, that is not, yung, uh, nililipod yung anak na po, no, kay tungod yung contest, magtoon siya. In real life, you need to actually do research po, no, dili lang kay tungod, ah, nakita na ko, ma'am, nga, kinangalan siya mo, study kay, kung mag-ood, ma-appeal mag-ood siya contest, no, tour guiding contest, dili lang siya yung anak na, no, in real life, no, in a real tour, mo research po si tour guide, no, kay of course, mawawan niya ito, nga, Katuga-tuga, taog ka ng tour dito niya, pangutan on town, say history, or kung ano, di ta prepared. Or wala ta kaila. But, saan na siya? Wala na din ka. Diba? So, explain it fairly without prejudice as well. We'll be talk about explain it fairly without prejudice. Meaning, wala ka ng halong judgment, no? Or, but you have to be really objective about it, no? Even if you hate, or let's say, you have a very, kung ano, awful experience in this place, Dili niyo pwede ingon nga, amahot mong gudili dili kay Di ba yung gudili na nagbulag sa kung ano? Do not do it like that, no? Or kung ano, do not judge the attraction nga. As you can see, this is the, uh, kung ano, this is the nature park. Maot, no? Maot siya ko. Dili ka pwede maging ana po. No, so, explain na ka. Ano sa'yo, background niya? Ano sa'yo, yahang, kung ano, ano sa'yo, yahang history? Ano, if you, you can add stories or, or fun facts, pwede jud ka ayo no? Or something like that. So, avoid opinionated commentaries by making negative and insulting remarks that will embarrass the Philippine government, the people, their culture, and traditions. That is true, no? Um, I'm very 
I'm a very political person. No? I I also make comments about my my stand, no, or my opinions in the government. But um, of course, I share that with some of my students, no. But of course, when we go to an actual place, no, when we are introducing our culture to foreigners, di ta dapat magkuan nga ay anam siya mga pinuji mga disiplina. No, so dili ta maging ana no because although tinuod man jud no naman jud tay mga kuan naman jud tay mga awful sides and all but we need to remember class no we are not here to make our comments dili di wala sila wala man sila dira para bayaran kanya maghimo kag mga comments nga bati no about your country they are there to actually enjoy themselves and get to know the culture and get to know the history of that place so you just focus on that no do not add commentaries mga political nga kuan no kay kuan man siya um dili man na ang ilahang purpose nga nang magtour sila Okay, so just focus on the culture, the history. Whether if you see something bad there, dila sa dalan, dila lang kamo react, dila lang kamo sulti o additional, no? Kaya the more daw ko na tayong story, the more tama kasala, no? That is true, no? I'm I'm a very vocal person. There are cases nga when I speak, sometimes I can commit mistakes, no? I can insult or offend someone. So I've learned from that experience. That is really true, no? So dili tamo. Muad, no? Kaya sa tour, you need to be very professional. No? I remember siya na siya class, no? If bautan ta dira, huwag mo tayo mahimu ato lang is kani siya nga lugar, kay na-establish na- siya or discover ni siya ani nga date or ani nga year. O, ano na, na yun, mapunin siya ang source of kung ano sa mga local. So, may ano na, good. Kaya siyong facts or dyan, no? Facts about that place. Do not add comments. Okay, next, ensure a factual presentation of information. Distinguish true stories, legends, traditions, rituals, and opinions. That, um, when you, when you instruct or let's say when you present something to the public, always have a layout. No, ikaw na mag 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 popcorn bang alin? Lain ang imuhang kanang unsa taga ni eh? Maglain lain ang imu information gikan ka diri. Agbuto pa kada. For example, gikan ka history na buto pa ka rituals kanang kaning mo rag dili siya ah dili siya comprehensive, no? o coherent di ay sorry hindi mo siya coherent nga nga pagpresent sa information so it's really difficult to formulate words no just from your thoughts that is true no sometimes when I give when I give lectures to my students na times nga lutang ka ayo ko no labi na ka na wala kayo tulog and all say maglapta lapta na ako mga thoughts so para dili ka mo segue or dili mo popcorn ang imuhang thought no imuhang pag-convey sa information, always provide a layout. So, maskin, gamay lang a card class, no? Gamay lang nga index card bar. So, natin mo, oh, 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 sinugdanan, abi, mag-opening spiel sa ako. No? Mamuan na mong ginabuhat po sa tour guide nga contest class, no? May ngayon ko nila, ka, na-adjo kay plastada. Diliingon nga mo, ambak na ka, o kuha nyo, nalimot ikang sulti sa rules. So, hatag jo ka dahil yung flow. Hanay siya. If makalimot ka, tis na ara kay lantawon. So, sunog na nabi, oh, opening spills ako. Dayon, ila-ila. Oh. Dayon, pagkahuman kay, um, after getting to know you, uh, we will proceed with rules and regulations. And then, um, hatag kong time to, ko, ano, to freshen up. Hatag, hatag sa kong time na to freshen up before kumumove sa next destination. And then, after that, oh, I will introduce the background of the of the city, baron, history of the city, and then, Masita sa first destination, no? something like that, no? Na ay pas, pagpasunod ba? No, para at least coherent siya. No? It, 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 it will make sense, no? So, ano? So, act fairly and reasonably in all dealings with colleagues, suppliers, and co-workers in the tourism industry. So, when we talk um, to the owner or to the local in the destination, no? Dapat kabalutan mo would deal with them, no? And they need to also act fair. Like, for example, you maabot sa punto nga, um, you need make decisions, no? Dili ta dapat biased po, no? So, ano na? So, if you're not a people person, no, try to encourage yourself um, to enjoy the company of other people, no? To be willing to deal with other people, no? Kaya ikaw man ang leader. Ikaw yung manage sa tour. Ikaw, Jay, makig-storya dito sa kuan sa sa tagan ni eh sa locals abi or sa tag iya ani nga lugar ko sir mag-conduct mi og tour na pero has to be ko ana man planado na man siya dapat before sa tour no ko sir ko ay um 15 minutes mi mag-tour de sa lugar no 
Ay, ana. So, dapat piling ka, ana, ano mo, makig-transact sa, sa other people as well. Even your colleagues. And also, act fairly comes to decisions. More na siya. Okay, next, always act with tact and diplomacy in dealing with guests. So, what do you mean tact and diplomacy? You know, when we talk, there's a level of professionalism. You know? And when they argue, you have to be very diplomatic about it. No, Saking, sa puto na ta, kalma raja punta dapat. No, um, at the same time, no, nagani mag away dira sa lahan and you to settle it right away. Do not resort to violence, no. So, in a diplomatic way, no, siya. When you deal with your guests or even unruly tourists, no, it has to be in a diplomatic way, no. Talk it out, no. Pacify that person, no, through talking. Ayo pagkalo, so tokong na ning mudrit, so pakon da yun ni mo, no. Resort that to violence. So, Mary avoid. Okay, never report for duty when you're intoxicated with alcohol. No, you are drunk, no. If your person likes to party, I do not want to to meddle with your personal lives, no. But please be sober enough, no, to to have the tour. If dili dili pung soon, no kay lain kay hubug ka, you you reek of of booze and then kuan kay ka kanang kanang sani eh kanang oh drunk man esha alang wala ka sa imuhang self no lain ka ayo lang tao unprofessional ka ayo siya no. So, na na kayo na juke yung mga kauban sa una class. Yeah, na kayo na kayo mga anak nga nga kauban ako klas na OG di ko sana sa crowd. Usually mga good class when you're in the tourism industry, na di siya malikayan nga people have different lifestyles. So na juke yung uban nga party goers juke kayo no kay imagine if for example na homa na nga mo ang function at 11 pm, maginum pa na sila mo olik alas 4, mo juti dek alas 6, no niya tulog-tulog na, di naka-function og maayo, no? sige nagpanagot sa likod. No, niya, ni duty siya, intoxicated ka, ayo siya, kasabahan siya sa, sa manager. Okay rin na kay hotel, makatago-tago ta. Niya, karun kay tour man. No, niya, ang tour guide raba, front, <laughs> tubangan, biyan na siya always, no? mag-encounter siya guest, no, and tourist always. So, never report to duty if you're a tour guide, if you're intoxicated. No? Rest, sober up, and then, Okay na ka, oh, following day na lang. Kay parties, no, not not to risk your reputation at the same time, uh, not to put the your respect no at risk po. No kay makita nila nga so many nga ko ano, ayan professional ka ayo no. So imong level of respect no imong kuan. Dili na sila mo kuan sa imo ha, salig. Okay, never take advantage of the ignorance of the guests or rely on the information you're sharing with them. Na jay uba no nga kanang magbisaya na lang tao, kaya sabot, eh, muharang yaga-yagaad, kaya dili ka sabot, no, you take advantage mo ang ignorance sa gas because he cannot understand your language, no, nagbisaya ka, yung mong ginalibak, or for example, yung mong yaga-yagaan, no, dili, so, masking ginahan mo tamang libak, tira, di mo siya na malika yan, dili na to na siya, yung mong asaway nga, mong libak ta, kahit ako dati, wala na uwinan na nga customer, or nga, na tourist niya, maglibak ta siyang tubangan niya, ito ang imak, no, ito ang ikuan niya, ang ignorance kay he or she cannot understand the language. So, di ito maging ana. Okay, next, be prepared to attend to guest needs and make sure that their visit will be a good memory to keep. Again, uh, we always have the moments of truth, no, mojo na parami po sa, I think it was mentioned also in, in marketing ba to, no, nga, First impression, no, may sabi siya, good first impression because if our customers are happy with the tour, no, they will recommend you to their friends, no, and then, i-book na mo always, no, because you're a very good tour guide. So, mo po na siya, no, more income for, for you, di ba? Both happy mo because the customer or the guest is happy and you're also happy, no, kaya, na-happy siya, kaya memorable kayo ang trip, enjoy siya, lagan siya na on from you, and na ikaw po, oh, na po kayo source of income. And you you also enjoyed the company of your of your tourists. Lain ko yung nga magen na lang ang tour no niya. Wala ka ng enjoy pod kaya nakahina nakit sa imuhang tourist or sa guest. Maot pa na siya. Okay, never allow yourself to be used by the unscrupulous group and take advantage of your contact with the guest as their guide. So this is balin na po niya ng situation. No, ikaw na po ang itik advantage sa mga guest no. Namay mga di siya na malikay ng class. So again, these are people with different backgrounds, different cultures and most especially we do not know these people because these are strangers and 
Tanin sige if ma-feel nimo nga gitik advantage ka, always stand your ground. No? Pwede ka mayon no yan nuhon kay sahay ra ba no katawan dayon ta kay wala is kay idea or gikuanan ka no. So although you would like to make connections with them, if there are times nga ningkuan na sila, no kanang ning take advantage jud sila no. Nilahan nang gikuan ang imuhang kaayo. So you draw the line, no. Di man ka mo mo distansya nila pero at least imo e, i-convey nila ba nga nga to respect you. A number of course the last one is uh not really the last one no? but, but most importantly ensure the guest is safe. No kailangan mo responsibility si tour guide. Importante is i-ensure nimo nga safe siya. Again, you as much as possible you would like to avoid no nga they will be put into harm not just in a way nga physical harm siya, no? Matraumatize ba sila ron? Or for example, kay kwan sila o ka ng illness ba ron, no? during the trip. So, you need to protect them. So, first, warn them about plants that may cause them allergies. Not all. No, dito yung ote mo, ote ni niya, uy, na, na, na ano rin siya, na nga to din siya. Dili yung mantanan, parehas tag skin type, no, na yung sensitive, na yung nga, allergic da ay, ano, ano, wala kabalo, no. So, you need, again, para sa tong igon ako, you need to know your, your tourist first, no, what are their allergens. If they are allergic to dust, and you are fully aware nga, kani nga lugar, no, has a lot of dust, no, kay siguro you're going to an antique place. So, Inform no your tour site away. Okay, na mga plants tiring ha very allergic or harmful sa skin can can cause redness. So please wear something like a protective um clothing no to protect your skin no from these kinds of plants. Or we're going to this place. If some of you are allergic to dust no, palihog ko. Oh, please bring some mask baron no. Or you have an option to exclude yourself from the trip. Okay, at least you are looking after their well-being. Next, foods and drinks that may not suit their digestive system. So, for example, if we have food here in the Philippines that are not really familiar with them, no, they are pugs on jula tonga. Pakan on jani mug balot kay insulto kay smug pagka pinoy nga di sila mo adapt sa mong culture. This is already 2021, no. We do not force things onto people just because you like them, no. Naman tayo kagalingon nga gusto, Char. Naman tayo kagalingon nga gusto, class. No? If di lang siya ginahan na because it will do something to, it will cause them stomach flu ba ron. No? It will make them sick. No? Kaya wasal na anan din ito, Pugson. At unless if adventurous kay siya, nga hala, hambal na siya, nga hambal din ha. O yeah, habi ito nang gipili. Pero we do not force things to our tourists. No? Kaya, maglago po biya kuha ng sobra ka ka-patriotic. I'm, I, I love my country as well, no? As much as possible, no, kanang, if I see something ako, and I always react, no? If I see something ako, kanang, dili, naku, mao yun, no? Because it would put the welfare of the Filipinos at risk. I always speak my mind. But, it comes to sharing my culture to foreigners. And, if di kinla ma-embrace totally, I do not force it to the, onto them, kay, ilahama na, no? It's up to them if they are willing to accept it or not. If not, then okay ra, di ba? Kay, mujung ikuon nga. Kaon, suka ning pagkaon, pugson siya ni mo. Ayaw lang. Okay? So, remind them that there are foods and drinks that may not suit their digestive system. Okay? Today, we are going to try some oh, delicacies from Kan. If you are, um, if you are lactose intolerant, or for example, if you, if you do not like the ingredients sa ning a drink, remind lang, eh, inform lang ko. No? Kay par, we can prepare a separate drink for you. Oh, that's being hospitable. That's being sensitive to the needs of your customers. Look, you can join bago lang, 10 AF. Look, good morning kay ikaduhan na ning subject na muhapit na mi mahom. Morning, dam. Sorry, dam. Pa-alarm mo next time, class ha. Always yung mo pa-alarm. Kaya ako nabantayan ang sakan. A Tuesday, I dam na limot ko dam. Abi na ko Wednesday, dam. Sorry ka ayod dam. Paalar mo guys ha para magbag magbag o na tacha. Mitao ah as much as possible, I would not like you to miss our classes. No kayo online man siya and then again na mention na ko ni kanina. There is a possibility that starting from January twenty five to February, God knows when mahuman 
because 13 weeks na siya nga training, there will be times that I will be not be meeting you. Dili jud tanan sa buok 13 weeks wala ko ha. Mo klase na Japan ko ana from January 25 until February. Hantol mahumanta sa sa um April. Kaso base na ay mga times nga we are required to attend workshops, to kay asynchronous man siya. No niya matunong sa ato ang schedule dili ko makamit ninyo so sayang ka ayo no so as much as possible mo take advantage lang ko sa time that we have left before mag January 25 unya preoccupied na kay ko with a lot of things okay but again this recording is available in YouTube and this link will be uploaded also in Google Classroom for those nga wala na appeal sa kong previous classes basta rest assured that you will watch the videos because again this is for you no para at least tate Ko, ano, learnings regardless of the pandemic. Okay. Kano to siya? PSA. Sure. Okay. Let's now proceed to the third, no? Elevation for those with vertigo. Lai uban class no nga. There's something wrong with their ears. Yeah, it can affect their vertigo sila, di ba? Masa nang vertigo. So, you probably heard Chris Aquino say this na vertigo ko na siya. Kanang malipong ka. No nga, kanang imuhang balance is dili balance. Sakto ba na, no? Dili mo ko medical doctor no pero kanang malipong dali kay ka malipong no siguro kanang no say ada you feel nauseous mo na siya no kanang kalipungon ka kasukaon ka kanang murag gatuyok imong pananaw mo na siya because siguro there's something wrong with your balance no ang sa uban sa ilang ears no uh, na kay friend nga na is something wrong sa ihang dalunggan mo na kanang ma vertigo siya per me no? prone to vertigo so most especially if we have tourists nga who have those conditions, masking wala pa anang ko ano, masking wala pa na conditions ka vertigo. If you, sa po, magsakay mo og rides, no niya, malipong na sila, inform na sila daan. No nga, ko, uh, this may cause vertigo, warn lang ko sa uban, at, at least ba, no? Emotion gibuhatanan to ensure that your guest is safe, no? Next, dogs that might bite. So, most especially, no, natin, mga turista nga, kung so, okay, bang hikap, o mga iro, mga hayop, kanya, wata ka bala basin, na anay rabies, no? So, we need to also inform them. Okay? Presence of pickpockets in crowded areas. This is really quite common, most especially to city tours, no? Like, for example, mulaag mo sa plaza, or, ko, ay, no? Remind them, no, to make sure that their belongings, diligent sa modala, tanan nilang cash, or alahas, no? Ko, ay, kung mag-tour ka sa ka lugar nga, prone to pickpockets, prone to pickpockets, prone to pickpockets, prone to pickpockets, just remind them to make sure that their belongings are safe, no, ilang is secure, na dali-dali makuot, ayan na, ipangbili ng mga unnecessary nga jewelry or cash, yung nga sobra-sobra, just bring what they need, no, to avoid further loss pa, no, in kaso nga na yung mawal, at is dili kay sakit, no, so ayan na siya. Okay, protect the reputation of the tourism in the country by making every guiding assignment a treat to the environment, wildlife, sites, and monuments, and local customs and sensitivities. As much as possible, most especially if you're an, on a nature tour, only walk on the pathway, dilita mo, mo to dito sa may grass, or mo kuan, basta at least sustainable lang po, ba? And to lessen our carbon footprint, no, as much as possible, we need to commute kung okay ra nila. Kung mayroon naman ito ang kuan diri, pwede ra tayo commute commute ta. No? kay mas makalasan daw no if mag commute because if you have your own private vehicle no mas maka-add ka to the pollution but again no this is the Philippines mayo maguta ni class if improve ato ang public transport kay kung daghan tag public transport ma-imagine ma ni mo public transport ato so for one train ma or bus maka-occupy na abi kag at least um 30 to 50 people ato lay butang no sa bus kada ko niya labi na kung electric bus pero hindi siya mo gamit o kuan dili siya mo gamit o pet ah petrol tama kaya siya ning salon la hapit ako mahuman okay so imagine mo thirty tani ang masulod na thirty to forty atong ibotang yeah, if you imagine if daghan kay public transport and daghan 40 people makasulod per bus, then mas lesson na nun ang people nga mo own og private vehicle. Kay imagine na ni mo ka ng 40, mag-own sa each private vehicle, magtagsatag sa sila. Maka mo na masamot ang traffic congestion. At the same time, mas more ang ang so ni eh 
pollution, di ba? So, mapuna siya. Sidetracked ako nung. So, muna, as much as possible, we need to protect the environment when we go to a nature park, no, or to a natural attraction. We need to remind our tourists na be be mindful, no, at the same time, be sensitive to to the environment. Hindi mapatakag labay. At the same time, kanang dili magkuay, no, dili maghilabot sa natural habitat sa mga animals, no. Wag to sila dira magsightseeing, dili sila maghilabot, no, dili sila. Kung uno gay nga no flash photography para dili mas stress ang animals, o oh, dapat mo follow po sila na at least, no. Kanang nag-enjoy sila pero wala dili dako, dili dako kayo ang impact sa environment. So, and even monuments, no, kanang dili insensitive nga mo vandalize sila sa kanang mga monuments, no mo guba sila dira ko on so to sang remind ana so act as a representative of the country and the people as much as we have conflicting ideas about our country no due to its current state but of course we act as the representative of the country no um your tourists who are foreigners no rely on you for information about the destination about the philippines then we need to give it our best No, at least they would say nga, Filipinas are nice, they're very accommodating. No, so, sige na atay mga bad sides and all. If you have conflicting um, opinions about our country, no, kahit ang mga matinitabo ka ron, di rin siya po na ito dapat mawala sa tunguna-huna nga. These are foreigners, no, they're in here for the culture. They're not here for my political opinions. They're not here to talk about how I hate some of the, some of the, the leaders of our country, no, about their decisions and all. They're not here to, to listen to me about these things. No, they're here to listen about the culture. So I will focus on that. I will focus on the good things. No. So man siya. No kay kwan naman, no, kanang short term naman ang ilahang pag visit dire. No, dili ni mo iko anong ilang experts of very depressing kay kay got story na about poverty, about corruption. So dili lang no. Kana lang mga good sides na we can offer like natural attractions or natural resources and all no culture rich culture in our asia hispanic roots so kana siya okay quality of a tour guide medyo taas taas no ito lang ko an so quality of a tour guide and love of country patriotic no people loving open mindedness tactfulness so lahi si tactfulness and tactless ha tactfulness is you are mindful of what you're going to say before ni mo siya isulti so may ka nga kuan ya abi dadara joke taklas kay kamo sulti kag bati sa imo ko ano so it's being mindful of what to say no think thinking kapila before nako isulti punctuality oh so kamo ha you need to focus on your punctual punct, punctual punctuality no most especially if naay mga activities so you need to be on time pa alarm mo mata jud ay mo dili kay magpadugay-dugay mo no Although you have reasons, kapoy mong good bangon, ma. Oh, tinod man kapoy mong put bangon. But when do we start? No, when do we start to improve ourselves? The moment that we start to improve ourselves is when we stop, um, giving, ko ano reasons, no? Mahatag dayon taog mga reason for for our shortcoming. So we stop blaming it on on our reasons, but we start on actually doing it. Okay. 2021 or agree as a solution no so next uh proper decorum no so kana um level of professional uh professional nga kana you are modest no and all no any times nga very quirky kay ta witty kay ta nga pagka person okay ba na siya no basta mo kun tag proper decorum no nga dili ta magkiat because again even if we are an outgoing person we are a bubbly person with our friends pag abot ta nga ikaw na on tour guide you need to be formal because you are the leader Again, ikaw yung mulid sa imong tourist. So, kanang imong bubbly side, you can, kung ano, you can have that when it comes to your friends, or kanang kung comfortable na ang imuhang mga tourist ni mo, oh, you can share your bubbly side or your, kung ano. Next, resourcefulness, self-confidence, sense of humor, enthusiasm. Kaling sense of humor, di siya niya total requirements, Jude, ha? Okay, ramayan nga, kanang, makakonnect din ka right away with people but there are times nga ka nang we lack sense of, sometimes I lack sense of humor no usahe ka nang dili man consistent akong sense of humor so we cannot force actually sense of humor no it, it comes naturally so muna siya no para dili po siya awkward ko you know mag cringe fest ang imuhang mga mga tourist ito kay kuan walay kay mong mga joke so dili siya ni total jud nga requirement no basta as long as 
you know what you're going to say. No? Knowledgeable ka sa attraction. Okay na na siya. And you are friendly. You are accommodating. Okay na siya. Ayun na siya. Kani sense of humor plus point ra na siya. So, not everyone is blessed with a sense of humor. No? So, ako sa mga tao, di ra, no, nga, dili, totally blessed with sense of humor. So, wali ka. Yun, um, katawa pa ko una before mo share sa punchline. Or, wali lang may akong punchline. No? So, na yung mga tao yung ana. Nila to force. No? So, next sense of leadership. So, again, not everyone is blessed with a sense of humor, but everyone can become a leader. No? So, if you're a very timid person, given the right kind of skills of training, exposure, you can be a leader. Everyone can be a leader. No? Dili lang ka na mga bright or ka na mga naning, mga butan, ma leader. No? Everyone has a potential to be one. If put into a situation, no? he is required to be a leader. Because if once you can make firm decisions, pwede na na, oh, you can be a leader na. No? If you are fair in your judgment, you can make sound decisions. Okay? Fairness in treatment, good health, good communicator. So, as much as possible, ha, we need to practice our skills in speaking because, again, in our industry, we encounter a lot of people and sometimes we talk in, we, we speak in English because um, it is the universal language. No, Everyone can understand English and it's the better way to communicate. So, or the best way to communicate should they. Eh? So, we need to practice, you know, okay. Uh, ako sa una, I'm not really good in English until now no natay ko but with a little practice no watching western movies conversing with people in English no exposing myself to ko uh, not forgetting my Filipino roots of course no but this exposing myself to to materials where I can learn English effectively most especially movies jud no dira jud ko no makakakog habits sa head dira no so that's it no and when you read no it can expand your vocabulary it can help you become a good communicator. And you practice it, no? So, so ano mo nag-watch yung movies class, basa kag libro, expand yung vocabulary. If you do not actually say it, no? Or practice it. Or converse with someone, then, dili na to siya ma-practice atong tong. No? Naiusahay ganit class, no? Ako ang pronunciation mo gahi. Kaya ka na ganit, mga yaga-yaga na mo, no? Na yung mga yaga-yaga nga. Pag una na class, yaga-yaga na mo, mga, ga, uh, mga soft, humon o gahi nga kuan nga nga pronunciation no kana pu magha nga pronunciation mas soft no ma, ma, mabasa na to og og sulti sa so, yagayaga ana mo na no mo kanang magkuan mi mag mag magpajajajaje mi nga 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 storya di na dala na na practice na sa dila no but if you converse and then you practice your tongue maana dra na no okay, next is patience being reasonable you are assertive humble polite thematic passionate, organized, and being able to focus. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, last na the end. So, the characteristics of a tour guide is a leader, a teacher, a psychologist, again, because, of course, no, you're dealing with a lot of people with different personalities. So, you have to be able to understand their different personalities, no? Akani siya kay Koan, medyo may pagka-artist. How do I deal with this person? Akani siya kay may pagka-koan, may pagka-timid. How do I deal no, with this person? How can I make this person... Um, ah, di ba siya make? No? At least, how can I encourage this person to participate? Mayan na. Teacher, because no, you're teaching them, you're sharing information to them. That's why, that is, that is why um, we need to do our research. No? Kaya parasan eh, no? Tanan akong ipangsturya ninyo class. Hindi man ako hindi siya masturya tanan without my experience, without um, studying my lessons, no? Dili mo ko preparado kay kung, kay, kung wala ko nagtuon, siguro dili ko kasturya ani ninyo, no? Wala ko yung ma-share, no? So, this, these are from years of experience. Although I'm still young, no? Some of you are kaedad na ako or magulang pa na ako. But some of these are my experience before, no? Sa industry or akong na-learn, no? Nabasahan. So, you need to actually study, no? Tunan siya niyo yung mohang kuan before ka makashare sa uban. Oh, you cannot give what you cannot have. Or you do not give what you cannot have. Something like that. Okay, walking encyclopedia. So, di ba? Of course, no? Mga tanjit sila niyo mga fun facts and all. Oh, best way for you to give fun facts and and information is to read, no? And you are like a walking encyclopedia. You know what is this one, what is this one, you know, their background, their history. You're a regulator, no? You you tend to, you, to control, no? Yung group, 
no nga update ta mo mo lakaw dira ha dili na to hikapon ni siya kay sin you will be put into harm or maka guba ta no or mo ni siya mer kay mo irregulate ang di mo ni control rin mo sila nga di mo palaagon palaagon ni mo sa from hatag kag limits na circulate kay cheerleader sure then so Their activities. So there are tours where people are required, or your tourists are required to to do activities, no, like small competitions or games. So you can be a cheerleader to your tourist host, no, because of again, this is your country and you know your way around the place. So you you can also act as a host, no. Ambassador, you are representative of the Philippines. Someone else, no. Entertainer, some of some of the tour guides can do magic. No, can tell jokes, no, and even just telling stories is a form of entertainment. Pro problem solve solver, of course. Um, there are instances that you are required to make sound decisions because you are the leader. No, mo decide ka asa mo mga on baron or mo decide ka on sa isunod ng agto ano ka ikaw man nakabalo ikaw man ang nagmanage ay mo hang tourist so you are a problem solver, troubleshooter and a liaison between the guests and tour company. You act as a mediator. No, so that's it, and that ends our introduction to tour guiding. So next will be at least kaan. Um, I have to look at the syllabus again. Okay, I forgot on same kaan sa chapter two, but. On Thursday, no, we will continue with chapter two. We are done with chapter one already. So this is just an introduction to tour guiding. Um, there are books in tour guiding that I asa ko an. Wata kung gigamit sa una. Karon I'm using a different one para na a variety of information. No, so mo na siya. So that's it. Okay, so we are done. Ikang stop share sa ako. So we are done. Proceed na lang ta next meeting sa ulat tuno human sa makar perspective and for tour guiding chapter two nata. Okay, any questions? I will end the recording there.